Hello everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Coco Vanilla Studio. I'm using the very beautiful new Heart and Home collection which is full of soft, pretty autumnal colours um, and, uh, and I love it. Um, right, so I have a piece of this heart paper left over from a previous layout um, and I have trimmed that down, or oh, actually I haven't trimmed it down because it was already trimmed to that size. Um, and um, I thought that I would <coughs> pair that with a number of different patterns from the A5 paper stack. So I've used some metal dies uh, to cut out hearts in uh, a few of, pr few of the prints um, in different sizes. Now I wanted to have one big heart uh, with, a with like three or four layers and then some smaller ones. So, but I didn't quite know how to achieve that so I just cut loads of hearts um, and then I figured that I would be able to layer them up and uh, turn them into whatever I wanted or whatever I needed. Um, and I also cut some hearts, smaller hearts from the middle of bigger hearts so that's where you can see that there's some there um, with that are open hearts, um, but they will be covered um, by the layers. So, um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time figuring out which hearts are going where, what layers I'm going to use, and how it's all going to look. Um, and um, distressing the edges of each of the hearts. Sorry, I've got some technical issues at the moment and my screen keeps flashing. Uh, I'm trying to sort it, but I've not been able to so far. Hopefully it will settle down um, in a minute. Um, so yeah, so I'm just layering my hearts together. I'm sticking them together. I'm folding up the edges. I've distressed all the edges um, and I'm just trying to make sure that they all look nice. I'm planning to layer them or stack them all over on the right hand side um, of that big square um, that's going to go in the middle of my white cardstock uh, background. Um, I love all these colours, they're super pretty, I love the soft pinks paired with the wood grain um, and the lovely stripes um, and the leaves and it's just all, and the, and the golden tones as well, so it's all just, it's all just very, very lovely. Um, that um, piece of background paper, like I mentioned earlier, um, is um, the middle part of a previous layout. Um, so um, yeah, I had that cut already and I just felt that it needed um, showcasing uh, on a layout because it's so pretty. It's got little cross stitch hearts all over it. Uh, it's like a tone on tone. It's really, really lovely. Um, so I spent a little bit of time um, sorting out my photo. It was a bit too big. So I trimmed it right down um, and then it, it needed a white border. So I've stuck a white border around the edge just with a piece of uh, white cardstock. But actually um, then what it turns out by a complete happy accident, it fits perfectly inside an ephemera frame. Um, so, um, I didn't need a border on it at all because um, it's going to go behind a frame, uh, which I'm going to find in just a moment. But um, yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. The, the heart's all stacked on the right-hand side, um, and then my photo will go over there as well. So this will very much be a layout that's all anchored over to the right-hand side of the page. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm liking that. I just need to get it all kind of stuck in place. Um, get all the hearts in place and make a final decision. Every time I move one, another one moves as well, <laughs> slightly. Um, so uh, yeah, I just got to figure that out. I want them to all be touching because I'm planning to trim off um, the bits of paper to the right of the hearts that you can um, you can still see. So I'm planning to trim around the hearts. Um, so that's why they all need to be touching. So there's not a big gap uh, to go through. So uh, let's, let's see how that, that works out. Um, but um, yeah, I'm liking how it's all coming together. I just need to make sure that um, some are overlapping and some are just slightly touching and um, I didn't want to, anything to be overlapped too many times. Um, so anyway, yeah, it looks nice. Right, so here I am just gonna trim out those um, little bits uh, to the right-hand side of those hearts. There we go. Um, so I now have this um, shaped edge over on the right, um, and then I have the, um, the remaining part of the heart paper uh, on the layout, which I'm gonna try and um, make sure I have a border the um, same kind of width all the way around. There we go, so there we go, that's looking nice. I'm really happy with how that has turned out. There we go, all stuck in place. I've stitched through the middle of all of those hearts and I've also stitched around the outside edge of the uh, pink paper as well to give it a little border, stitched border. Um, so yeah, it's all looking um, lovely. There's that frame I mentioned that was perfect size for my photo, which was a total accident uh, because I'd already trimmed my photo down quite significantly and put a border on it. Um, right, um, and then I've got this celebrate word. Now we are out, me and my daughter are out celebrating her birthday um, 
and we're in a restaurant at that point um, having a cocktail. So um, a, a mocktail, she's only 12. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, so it was the word celebrate worked really well because as I say we are out celebrating a birthday. So lovely. So I'm going to put that um, vertically actually. So normally I would I, you know, I really sometimes struggle with vertical titles. I don't know why. I always really like them when other people do them. But for some reason, um, I, I'm never quite too sure um, when I'm doing them myself. So, um, so yeah, anyway, I thought I'd go for it this time. And actually, I really like how it looks um, against the photo. Um, but, um, but yeah. So now that I have all my hearts in place, my background is stuck in place, my photo is in place and my title is in place, I can go ahead and embellish the layout. I did for a little while think about putting a heart over on the left hand side to balance out the layout with something on the left but I decided against it and thought that um, a stack design over on one side was quite a nice thing to do and a little bit different to what I normally do. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I've done. So I'm just adding some flowers to those hearts. Um, it's the, because they're layered hearts, um, it's really easy to tuck flowers into the layers so they can go behind some of the hearts that be on top of the other hearts, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, yeah, really super easy to tuck them in. Um, and uh, yeah, it just looks, they just look really cute, really. So just creating a very small floral cluster at the bottom right corner of the frame. Um, it's already got a flower on it. Um, and I'm just adding, um, sorry, a flower cluster and I'm just adding a flower as well. Um, and then say a few little flowers on the hearts um, themselves. And I'm just trying to work out, you know, how much more do I add to the layout? Um, because it's already, it's got, you know, it's a specific kind of design where it's all on one side and I don't want to overdo it, um, but then I feel like it does need a little bit more on than what it has at the moment. So I have to be careful. I have to make sure that I get a good balance um, and not overdo it and then lose the effect of the, the, the stacked layout. Um, so I have to be a bit careful. So anyway, I picked out a few bits. So I've got Loving This, which is from the Ephemera. Um, and then I've got a couple of little words, um, phrase uh, strips too. One says, this is our happy place. And one says, moment captured. So I've distressed the edges of both of those. And I've stuck those onto the top of the hearts as well. I considered having them vertical as well, um, but I decided against it and decided that horizontal was best in this case. Um, and then just adding a few of those little puffy hearts. Um, obviously the hearts are ideal because I've got layered hearts. Um, so just adding a few of those to some of my hearts um, and um, I thought about adding them in the gaps in between the hearts, but actually stuck to just keeping them um, on the hearts themselves. Um, so yeah, so now I just need to write in a little bit of journaling. I decided to go for a grey pen instead of a black one um, so that it wasn't too overbearing. Um, and, but my grey pen's quite light and it's over the top of pattern paper. Um, so I was worried it wasn't, wouldn't be um, readable. So I've just underlined it uh, with a ruler as well just to give it a little bit more definition. Um, and I think that works really well because I say it's not overpowering because... Um, because it is quite light. Adding in a few little grey hearts, uh, doodled hearts around the, uh, onto the white, around the gaps in the hearts as well, um, just with my grey pen. And uh, yeah, there we go, pretty much nearly there. Um, and um, I just want to uh, finish off with um, a few splatters of gold paint. Um, so just put a little bit onto my craft mat there and um, just picked it up with a paintbrush and I'm just splattering over the top. So. There we go, um, all finished. Um, I actually really like um, how this one turned out. Um, I love it over on the right hand side like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's all come together um, lovely. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together as well. And um, yeah, make sure you check out the new Heart and Home collection by Coco Vanilla Studio because it is beautiful. Thank you so very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Coco Vanilla Studio.